What's up, guys? Back in the car. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. I am really tired, off work, very busy, having a good time though. Took a little detox from crypto. I wasn't sure if I was going to make a video today, but I looked at the market. I saw my charts just for a little bit, not spending all day doing it, but I did take a look. I took a peek and I saw Bitcoin is still 26K. By the way, if you're new, to crypto bitcoin is the base where you always start like when i watch my charts or jump onto the apps i always check bitcoin first i check bitcoin first because if it's at 30 35k or 25k or 10k i kind of can guess where the old coins are going but uh bitcoin being at 26k and that a sum is near i'm seeing rumors that we're going to see another crash if this is not already the crash for September. I actually think the fall of this year, Q4, is going to be bullish, but that's just me. That's just me. So right now we are entering Q4. It is upon us. You know, September is going to be Q4. And um, a lot of bullish catalysts can take place, but at the very least, I do see some sideways action. Um, you know, a lot of things can happen, but this is why I say no matter if this is the crash we're seeing now, if we're seeing a crash next month, if it's going to happen two months from now, whatever. This is why I DCA because I know from experience, I don't have a crystal ball. You don't have a crystal ball. Nobody has a crystal ball. It doesn't matter what charts you read, some technical analysis, whatever. At the end of the day, the only thing we can do is dollar cost average, DCA. Is it the most exciting way to invest? No, but it ensures you buy the dips like we're seeing now, but also the consolidations and also depending on which crypto you're buying on the way up, especially if you believe in it for the long term, right? I truly believe this is the bull cycle to dramatically change our financial situations. You know, if you made some mistakes in the past, if you, you know, didn't take profits last bull cycle, if you made some crappy investments, some bad decisions, this is your time now to correct it. You know, even if like say yesterday or today you made a bad trade, we still have time. There's still time to correct it, move past it, and put yourself in a great position to make profits in just two years. Guys, two years away, can you imagine making potentially life-changing, altering money to leave your job forever? Like, this is my motivation. You know, I always get told, and you guys can probably see it, I look tired half the time. I work a job outside of here, so I don't have to take shitty sponsors and, you know, show you guys scam cryptos to make money. I'm not like that. I'm very big on values and character. But I work so much so I can invest. There's so many things behind the scenes you guys don't see that I sacrifice to get to where I am today. You know, I still have ways to go to become financially free. I mean, obviously, for those who have been following me, you know I live at home. I don't have my own place yet. I do pay rent, but it is significantly less than like moving out on my own. I'm probably going to move out next year, 2024, but I've been saving up. And same my brother. He's been home too. One of my twin brothers, he uh, moved out, but he's also married. So it's different. But my older brother and I, we've been home. We have a great situation. Everyone's got different work schedules. We all have our own privacy. But this is the thing, right? Everyone makes sacrifices. I know some of you, you got families, you got kids. Some of you got dogs, including some Discord members of mine. You know, some of you work two jobs, three jobs. Some of you are working a job like me, 50 plus hours a week. And you're also burnt out. I get it. We're going to look back during this time, during 2022, 2021, whenever you got in and say, I'm really glad I put in the work. This is a thing that you don't see talked about much in the space. Everybody wants to know the 100x coin, the 1000x coin, what should I do next? But it's what you don't see behind the scenes that creates success, that leads to success. You look at any successful person in any facet of life, they have many mistakes leading up to the success, many challenging moments, and sometimes periods of doubt, severe doubt, severe burnout, and then boom. They reap the rewards. Their hard work pays off. These are some of the things you have to be doing. Now, I understand, you know, we have social lives, right? If you want to go out to drink here and there with your friends because you like, that, that's your way of detoxing, letting loose, whatever. Okay, so be it. But just find it in moderation. If you want to go out, you know, on a date with your spouse or, I don't know, your significant other, and you want to have a date night once a week, then so be it. Make some time. Moderation, right? If you want to go out to eat, if you want to you know, read a book, if you want to play a sport, go to the gym, whatever. The key here is doing things throughout your everyday life that gives you a life outside of here, but also don't make you so deprived to where you're like, oh man, I really have no life. 
like I get asked all the time, you know, for the frugal living I have, right? How do you feel happy? And, you know, would you do it again if you can go back? Of course, 100% guys. But there's also a saying I heard where to get to where you want to be, to feel comfortable, you have to do what's uncomfortable now, right? So what's comfortable? I mean, for me, it's having a million plus dollars. Being financially free, leaving my job, that's comfortable. How am I going to get there? I know being uncomfortable now, working overtime, investing my money in the market, tracking my expenses, tracking my spending, not going out partying all the time. I mean, last night I went out, I got drunk, I had a great time, wouldn't change it for the world, but I don't do it all the time. I don't do it every single weekend. You know, I planned it out. I have moderation. I'm not going on 20 vacations. I'm not just blowing my money, buying junk. I'm just going to the mall, buying shirts and shoes and doing all this all the time. You know, I find ways to feel like I'm not being left behind with life, but I also do it with the end goal in mind. And that's the thing, guys. Every decision you make in life or crypto, you're investing, your portfolio, think with the end goal in mind. Is this decision going to impact me positively for the two-year cycle that's coming, the two-year profit taking stage, or is it going to set me back? For example, if you're making bad trades right now, you're trading cryptos, you're panic selling, whatever, ask yourself, did those trades help you out or did it set you back? If it set you back, then find out what led to that trading behavior so you can correct it, fix it. I told you guys there's so many sheep in this market, right? This is why you got to be in the driver's seat. Like if you notice right here, I'm in the driver's seat, right? This is my car. I'm in control of this. I control where it goes. I got my foot in the pedal to drive when I want to. I can take my foot off the pedal and back up when I need to. I'm in control, so I decide where this car goes. You got to think this way when it comes to your portfolio, with your life. Be in the driver's seat, okay? The minute someone else is driving for you, doing things for you, and essentially controlling your life is the minute your your potential is in someone else's hands. That's why I tell you guys, you know, I'm an investor just like you, but I'm just a YouTuber. That's why I have a Discord group, a Patreon. We're all like-minded investors, but we're also our own sharks. What do sharks do in the ocean? They do their own thing. You don't see 20 sharks traveling together saying, hey, you mind if I eat that fish? Hey, you mind if I bite this dude's leg off? No, they just do it. They do what they want. They're apex predators, and they do it at their own free will. And that's how you got to be as a person and also as an investor. You have to be doing what others are not doing. That is how you reach true success. That is how you get to the goal of becoming financially free in 2025. If you don't become financially free in 2025, it's going to be on you, not because of someone else, on you. So you have to put yourself in this driver's seat now. But just keep in mind, in terms of the market, I expect some volatility throughout the rest of this year. I'm so happy because I know as this year comes to a close, the Bitcoin having is literally not that far away. I know it seemed far away last year when Bitcoin was 15.5K. It may seem a little far away now. Guys, it is closer than many people think. And when we see the friggin' real altcoin season, take place we are going to be so happy we've been dcing sacrificing living frugal lifestyles because we're gonna know that we're in the moment of achieving our financial independence you have to believe it to put yourself in a position to achieve it right believe is half the battle if you don't believe you're gonna be financially free in two years you're not gonna put yourself in a position to even realize that dream right you have to believe it and how you believe it is setting the framework and the path to get yourself in that direction. And something else I want to say before I let you guys go, there's going to be more than one altcoin, two altcoins, five altcoins that make it this bull cycle. We're going to see an altcoin season. Keep in mind, altcoin season means many altcoins going like this, not just one or two cryptos. I know sometimes it seems like you have to keep shifting from card to card because every old coin is going to zero and only five or ten are going to go to the moon. That's not the case. People want you to believe that so they can FUD your bags, buy in cheaper, or have you do something. It is a form of manipulation. It is not going anywhere. It is complete and utter nonsense. Not true whatsoever. We're going to see many old coins rip it. Not every old coin is going to the moon, though. Some are going to be better than others. Some are going to fly more than others. So you do got to do some research here. Not every old coin is created equal. But I do see some FUD going around, but every altcoin going to like zero. And a lot of that is FUD, and a lot of it's based on just opinion. And you guys know how opinions are, right? Especially when you assume. So just keep in mind, a lot of this market is just like 
wishy-washy. You're always going to see two sides to everything. People still say Bitcoin's worthless. So what do you think is going to happen to the altcoins? Of course, you're going to see people that like it and people that hate it. That's just the nature of crypto. By the way, if you want to reach out to me, talk to me, see what crypto I'm buying, selling, trading, or just join a like-minded support group of both beginner and advanced investors, feel free to join my Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see there. Anyways, though, rant over. Now I want to hear from you. Do you think Q4 is going to be a bearish or a bullish quarter? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.